Here's my audience. The first patient came into our dressing room at 8.25 a.m. He had a large abdominal wound and was bleeding profusely. They started an intravenous and infusion. I can still remember Dr. Brunson's hand as he held the needle. Everyone was terrified. The patient died within the hour. This quote by Lieutenant Ruth Erickson of the Nurse Corps is just a glimpse into December 7th, 1941, better known to most as the day of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Now, I know most of us have never fought in a war, but in order to understand World War II's impact on the nursing profession, we're gonna take a look at the Nurse Corps before and after the attack on Pearl Harbor. You see, this event, as well as, well as all of World War II, had a huge impact and changed the nursing profession forever. To start December 7th, 1941, the day of the attack on Pearl Harbor, is a day that many of us will never ever forget and will live in infamy. Prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor, the nurse corps was populated with approximately a thousand nurses. To put that into perspective, Lancaster General Hospital has about 7,000. Now, on that day, 82 nurses were working on the islands of Hawaii between three different hospitals, Tripler Army Hospital, Shufield Hospital, and Hickman Field. Tripler Army Hospital was the most impacted and had the largest influx of patients after the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor. Army and Navy nurses had to carry patients up the blood-soaked steps and treat burns and shock. Due to the large amount of patients coming in, the supplies were very sparse and it wasn't uncommon to see doctors passing surgical equipment in between patients as they saved lives. Nurses who didn't wear any gloves because there were no gloves to wear because of so many people coming in had to use cleaning rags as surgical masks during surgeries. Regardless of all the chaos that happened that day, many, many service men received honors and Lieutenant Annie Fox was actually the first officer in the nurse corps to receive a Purple Heart. After this, nurses became a huge part of World War II. Thousands of nurses served as flight nurses, field nurses, nurses on hospital ships, and on hospital trains. Field hospitals were the most common medical facility during that time. Basically, field hospitals were hundreds of tents that were set up in order to treat patients right on the battlefield. Now, most of these hospitals were populated with no more than 18 nurses, which may seem like a lot, unless these 18 nurses' role was to triage and treat 75 to 150 patients at one time. On top of that, their job was to do as many as 80 surgeries per day, and during this time still maintain an 85% survival rate with those surgeries. In the end, Pearl Harbor led to a huge amount of change in the nursing profession. Education became a top priority, and between 1943 and 1948, the government allowed all nursing students to go to school free of charge. Now, I use education as a loose term because compared to two or more years of education today, psychiatric nurses receive 12 weeks of training. And to be a nurse anesthetist, which takes years and years and years today, you were given six months of training. But the government was desperate. They needed nurses, and six months after Pearl Harbor, 12,000 nurses serving was still not enough for them. So on top of education, for the first time ever, nurses received retirement privileges. They received allowances for their dependents, and they received equal pay to those that were enlisted already. And when it was all said and done, their tactics worked. The entire span of World War II, 59,000 nurses served in the nurse corps. Today, we look back at the 1940s as a time when the nursing profession was transformed. Nurses today receive benefits and an immense amount of respect because nurses back then worked under harsh and terrible conditions. Could you have done it? Could you have saved lives without medical supplies under terrible conditions? If you could, I commend you. If not, I want you to think about the 40,000 women and men today that serve in the nurse corps on the front lines, saving lives, and think, how could I do that? Would I be able to do that? Just thank them for changing our profession and for 